Hello and welcome to the channel. My name's Simon and I'm here with Brett. Ow. And today we're going to be taking a look at what could be the biggest haul of items I have ever bought from a charity shop. We've got video games for four different consoles, we've got toys, we've got trading cards, we've got RC vehicles. So let's get started. The first item is Optimus Prime Transformer. Now this is a 2017 Optimus Prime. Now I only picked it up last night and I haven't had a chance to really look at it. So I haven't transformed it back into its lorry form yet. And I haven't checked that everything's there. But I will get round to that probably later on. Now as well as that transformer I picked up this one. Now this one here is more for your older people. That's why it's so complicated yeah and a bit more fragile and then this one is for younger children so I thought my younger son would like this and when I got home I found out actually yeah he does like it so he'll be having this as soon as this video is finished and it's only like four moves you move those two bits down pull the top Seriously. pull the top apart after moving the wheels then he comes That's down there why do you keep forgetting to do that? I do not know. And then, there you go, you've got your robot. And then he is taller than the complicated one. How many is it? Like one, one two, two, three, three four, four five, about six. six moves and you've changed him into your robot. So it's more for the younger children. So but it's probably 258. <laughs> so not bad items. Thousand. My son's going to play with that. I'll probably put that somewhere. I actually have a soft spot for Optimus Prime. Because when I first started buying and selling, one of the first items that I bought was an Optimus Prime with a trailer and Sidewinder. I bought it cheap and I sold it at a profit. So it was one of the first things I bought and sold. So I quite like them. We've also got this Cars Free School Bus. Uh, I thought my young son would like that as well. Because we all like the Cars movies. So he'll probably enjoy that. This was all quite cheap stuff. So what have you got then, Brett? Well, the first item on the Nintendo DS is Agatha Christie's The ABC Murders. Right. Normally on this channel, whenever we're looking at video games that I pick up, I normally always open them up and show you what's inside. But all of these games are complete. They all have their manuals. The games are all there. But there's so many things to get through today, it would just take too long to open everything. So, we'll show you what the games are, we'll tell you how much they were, and, but we won't be opening them all up. They are all complete, so they're good games. The cases are in good condition, and they weren't, that was only a pound. Well, from that, we now have Crime Lab, Body of Evidence. Yep. And again, it's all complete, uh, good condition box, and again he was only a pound, so it's not too bad. Mm -hmm. Right, the next item, this is going to be quite a noisy one. Why not do this last? Because you asked me to do something else last. Mm -hmm. I can't do everything last, can I? You can only do one last. The next item is this remote control T-Rex dinosaur. Now, I saw this and I thought my youngest son would love it. He loves dinosaurs and all children love things that are noisy, which this thing is. There's two buttons on the remote. And this, the best essence is here, no. This one makes him walk and has sound effects and this one makes him roar. So, I'll put him to there. And there you go. It's walking along. With sound stomping. effects. Stomping. I'm just walking and then the table. The other button. When I'm playing with this, this makes me think of Brett and my wife. It makes me think of my wife because when she's in a bad mood, she stomps around. And it makes me think of Brett because when I ask him to do something, he gets in a mood. An insulting person. <laughs> I can't believe how insulting you are. I get it from you. Now come on Anne, what's next for you? 
Well, the next I bought the next couple of items are all on the PlayStation 3. This one being Call of Duty MW3. Or Modern Warfare 3. I'm not the... looking at the side, I'm looking at the front. When these games first came out, uh, I was I had the PlayStation 3, but uh, because of time, the time the PlayStation 3 came out, we we were married, we had the children, so you could only buy games that you were definitely going to play. So I didn't pick these up when they first came out. I was playing other things like Grand Theft Autos, and um, back then I was playing a lot of wrestling games and various other things. So now that they're a bit cheaper, I'm picking them up and I'm giving these kind of games a go now. But they, again, all complete and it was only a pound. And the next item is Splinter Splint, Splinter Cell Blacklist. You struggled there, didn't you? Oh, again? It didn't look like it said Splinter. Again, it, mean on an it's all complete, it costs two quid. It's not too bad. I'm going to give him a go and see what he's like. And the next item is Battlefield 3 Limited Edition. <laughs> Again. Yes, his hands are back. In good condition. And he costs two quid. And when he says his hands are back, that's because in the last video he started doing all this like he's from some sort of game show thing. <laughs> Not the host, more of the model. You know those girls that dress up in the sideshow and you what prizes you could have won? Okay, forget it. <laughs> <laughs> right, what's next? You're fussy about where you put things, aren't you? The next one is... Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Vegas 2. You forgot what I told you about reading these before you put them down, didn't you? Now you're trying to read them from a funny angle. Look, Again, it worked. Okay. Again, it's in good condition. Uh, three pound. Um, not too bad. And the next item is Call of Duty Black Ops 2. I thought you said you weren't going to do the hands. I haven't changed it, I'm doing more than. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes I wonder what's in your diet. <laughs> right, again, good condition, it's all complete. Uh, £4 that game. Wait, next. And next is Dead Island. Bit tied. I saw this and I thought this was a game that my wife might like to try out. It looked it looked um, looked good enough to me. I thought I'd try that out as well. But not only did I find this one, which was a pound, but I also, also found, found this one, Dead Island Game of the Year Edition. And again, that was a pound. So when I found both of them, I thought I wouldn't mind trying them out. For for two pound for two games, I picked them up. We'll have we'll give them a go at some point. Now, the next item is a little bit different for me. It's something I don't normally bother with, but... We have trading cards. Yeah, just leave them there, mate. Okay. No, just leave them there. Look. You don't like doing what I ask you, do you? We've, got, like like. we've got a few packs. <sighs> I don't know why I part with you. I really don't. I was doing it like that for a reason. Yeah, and I'm going like this because of it looks nicer. You're annoying, Brett. Right. The reason that I was doing it the way I wanted to was because then I could show what ones were which and how many of each there was. But my son doesn't seem to want to listen. So There's nine of them. What we do is these here in their rows. Off. Okay, this is a better way of doing it then. Yes, I know, but you don't listen. There are four different types of card. The first lot are... Now, these are WWE Raw Deal. Now, the problem with this, these are... The shop had them bundled up like this. Now, every single one of these was done the same way. They were all put in these bundles. Now, the reason why that makes it really hard to sell is because 
people want to know what's in this because you don't know whether this this could be the whole pack of the same card for all you know so people want to see what they're getting and they want to know if there's multiples of the same ones some collectors might want to know if there's some rare ones or stuff stuff that they can make some money out of so by doing it like this they actually stop themselves from selling them because they put them into bundles like this put a price on them and then we're trying to sell them and of course people can't see exactly what they're getting they don't want to bother they were there for a long time now I go to this charity shop quite a lot and the people there know me and they asked if I would do them a favor and take them off their hands they gave me them at a really cheap price so I've took them off the hands I don't know what I'm gonna do with them quite yet but I used because I do buy and sell things I may sell them I might not I don't know will you please stop doing that Look, they're not all level <sighs> and I really like them being level now some of them I've undone and had a look through and there are quite a few doubles in these cards so I'm gonna go through them properly another day see what's what and see what there is but you've got torchwood cards which we've got three bundles off the raw deal like I said was one bundle we've got three bundles of Lord of the Rings and then we've got two WCW Nitro cards now again the ones that I've gone through is WWE Torchwood and the Nitros there are doubles in all of them there's no there's no pack which just has like a whole set or anything unless you haven't looked at the ones that do well it's a possibility but I think because of how these went these are all going to be doubles through them probably are yeah so they're good they're good looking cards they're cards like this one here the nitro cards I never saw these around where I live so I never could could collect those um, I've only in my life only collected a few cards not many so we've got those I'll figure out what to do with them later the other thing which is kind of cards is a game of um, Angry, Angry Birds. Birds. It's a little card game. My wife will play that with my youngest son. So that's that. And I'll move I them out of the way. Pack. I'll move them out of the way. And Mr. Fussy over here will get the next item. Now the next item, now all of this bundle is in the Xbox 360. We have Race Driver Rid. On the Xbox 360. Now, the thing with the Xbox 360 is, I had the original Xbox, and after that, I never bothered buying the 360. I went to PlayStation 3, my wife had the Wii. And so, I didn't bother with the 360. I've never had any intention of buying one, but I found one, it might have been a year before last. I picked it up quite cheap. If you watch my videos, you'll actually see that I bought another one recently from a charity shop, which I only paid £3.60 for. It had no leads, but because I, I already had leads, I could try it. It fully works. So, because I bought them cheap, I'm now buying some games for them. So this one was only a pound. I like racing games, so we'll see what it's like. And we'll probably play that together at some point. Didn't you say this cost £1 when you bought it? I just said that. Well, oh, babe, it's good that we didn't get when it was. That's five three nine nine more than what what you paid. Okay. And next we have on the Xbox three sixty Forza Motorsports Four. <laughs> Again, it's a racing game. I do like racing games. Uh, I used to play a lot of Formula One games a long time ago, and need for speed and various other ones um, in recent times I've sort of stopped buying racing games on the PlayStation 4 and stuff probably because I've sort of called on the love of Formula 1 I used to love it it's not as good as it was it's now become the Lewis Hamilton show <laughs> so now I pick that no, up we give it that. a go and it could be quite enjoyable now <laughs> I did one other thing right, next Next we have Beijing 20 2008 Right by Sega 
So we got here a game for the Olympics. Uh, I did a favour. I was buying a load of games. I was basically clearing off the shelf with all the stuff they had. And they asked me if I'd take this one as well. I might play it once. I'll see. But uh, it's a might be a good game. So if I give that to you. And the next game is Guitar Hero 3. Legends of Doc. Uh, it's, this is another game that I never bothered with when it came out because I'm not very good at the kind of games where you've got to press the buttons at a certain time. My wife is good at them now and she'll probably play these. And um, maybe Brett will. I might give it a go, but probably I don't not. know. What? Probably not play it. What, you or me? You. Uh. But again, it's all there. They only cost a pound. Now. The next game is Guitar Hero 2. Right, again, not much to say. On Xbox 360. Pound, it's all there, it's in good condition. Now we've kind of gone a bit backwards here, because now we have Guitar Hero World Tour. Again. Uh, By Activision. <sighs> I get, I don't, I, what have you been drinking this morning? Milk. I thought it was milk. But did you put anything else with it? Like, <sighs> again, like I said, I never bothered with these games when I, when they first came out. We're going to give them a try. Uh, my wife likes this kind of thing. It's all there. It's a pound. Can't be too bad, can it? Right, now, the next this item... I just saw the next lot. Is... Star Wars Walkie Talkies. Now, if you've seen my videos lately, you will notice that I've been picking up quite a few items from Star Wars. And that's because a long time ago, I never used to see any Star Wars in charity shops at all. But now, every time I walk in, there's something different. And I've bought a Micro Machine Set, a Stormtrooper, a Lightsaber, these Walkie Talkies. And that's just what I've bought, oh and video games, and that's just what I've bought, but I've left behind watches, R2-D2 figures, um, uh, books, DVDs, and some other video games. So there is quite an upturn on, oh and some other lightsabers, so there's quite an upturn of what Star Wars is going into charity shops at the moment. So if you are somebody who's interested in that kind of thing, maybe check out your local charity shop and you might find something. But, I came home, my youngest son liked these straight away, and they work. And, who knows if the camera actually picked that up. Uh, whoever's watching. <laughs> but, yeah, they're a nice little item. It was only cheap, so we get some use out of that. What do you want to do next, Brett? The next thing, like the last game you saw on the Xbox 360, this is on the Wii. Guitar Hero. World Tour. Right, I kind of wish you did the Guitar Hero ones last. Look, I was doing it right, so they go in line. Again, it was only a pound. I have a reason for buying this on the Wii, which will come clear in a At minute. At the very end. Mm -hmm. No. Okay, in a second minute. from end. Will you get on with it? Next item is Guitar Hero. Look, that was perfect. Guitar Hero 3. Legends of Rock. Okay. On the Wii. Again, complete. Cost a pound. But there's no Guitar yeah. Hero 2 on the Wii. Okay, there's uh... Show me what else you got. Some person. The next one... Is Lego Star Wars The Complete Saga. Saga? <laughs> saga. Right, again like I said. There's an uptake on video games and DVDs and all sorts of Star Wars stuff. If you're interested in it, check out your local shop. You might find some. Might even find Doctor Who at the moment. But this is a, a game. I like Lego. I like Star Wars. I like Lego Star Wars. So I picked it up and we're going to play it at some point. 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 What? That was only £2 that game. And the next one. Disney, Pixar, Cars 2. 
on the way. All right, cars is a film that I've liked from the first one. Uh, I liked I like the third one as well. Cars two actually was a film that I wanted to take Brett to when he was a little child, but he wouldn't go with me. So my wife and I ended up being the only parents without their children watching the movie in our local cinema. Which I see nothing wrong with. Which made us feel a bit out of place. I see but nothing wrong with that. A pound and it's all complete. What are you doing? It's uh -oh. going up in the entertaining way. Next one is on the way. It's Iron Man 2, the video game by Sega. <laughs> okay, Iron Man. Uh, I've never bothered with any of the Iron Man games before, but he was only a pound and I thought I'd give it a go. So there you go. Now, the next item is the Blob. This is actually a game I've never heard of. I saw it on the shelf, I was buying lots of video games. Uh, the picture on the front and the picture on the back sort of got my attention a little bit, made me a little bit intrigued. And for only a pound, I thought I'd pick it up, we'll give it a go and see what it actually is. We might play some video at some point. Maybe, we'll see. Now, the next one is The Sims 2 Pets. Yep. On the Wii. <sighs> right. The Sims games are something we really like. I bought all the Sims games on consoles. I've got them on PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4. I've got some on PlayStation 2. I love playing the Sims games. Uh, there are some bits about Sims 4 that I don't like. Like how many DLCs you've got to buy. Just because, to get an actual game. Because of the fact that uh, the original game wasn't as good as Sims 3. But you had you have to buy stuff in to sort of make it a bit better, which I'm not so keen on. But I do love the Sims games, and it was only a quid. And the next game is The Sims 2 Castaway okay. on the Wii. Again, what can I say? It's Sims, but it's a bit damaged. Oh yeah, well, didn't notice that before. I have just noticed that when I went to pick it up. Uh, it doesn't matter. And I was in CEX before I was in. This chai shop. Yeah. Uh, again, it's The Sims. We like The Sims. My wife likes The Sims. Uh, the Wii actually was actually was a games console I bought originally for my wife. I didn't buy it for me, but I bought it for my wife, and we used to play it quite a lot together. And so she'll make use of that. What's next? <laughs> the next item is Peppa Pig. The Pe game. Peppa on the Pig. Way. Peppa Pig. A game that I knew my youngest son would like. We have it on the DS. I saw it on the Wii. Again, it's only a pound. It's all complete. I thought we'd buy that and then make use of that. Which we also have on the DS. And it's the exact same game. Right, I'm going to show something now that's going to annoy Brett. Because he probably wants it last. But it's too bad. I did want it last. Well, second before last. Uh, well, you're gonna have. You it have now. a very entertaining thing for last. We've got the Guitar Hero guitar for the Wii. Now, the Wii. My line. Fine, but this one, you have this put section here, where you take the back off, a bit like a battery compartment. You connect this into the back of your Wii remote. Pull it into here put the back on and then you use it to play the game. I didn't pay much for this so that's the reason why I picked up the Guitar Hero games on the Wii to give this a try and we'll make use of this. We'll try it out. Well I say we, I mean more mummy. That's a terrible joke. Okay, it wasn't a joke but there yeah, you go. Yeah but Wii. Okay. It's on the Wii. <laughs> You're going to be obsessing about that now are you? Right. So we're going to give that a go. I might try it. Like I said before, I'm not very good at these games where you've got to hit certain buttons at a certain time. I quite often miss. Like I play a lot of Ark at the moment and I can't get on with the fishing at all. So the next item, which I'll do, is a couple of small little bits. We, uh, we picked up. Sean the Sheep. A solar powered Sean the Sheep. Sean the Sheep. Which 
as he's charging up in the sun, he dances around, shakes his hips. Like this. Almost. And also, we've got a Wallace and Gromit cruet set. So Gromit here, it is... Uh, three holes, because somebody shot him. In his thinking pose is your pepper. So he has the three holes in his head between his ears. And he's quite nice. Nice little thing. I don't know how much pepper you'd actually get inside of him. And then Gromit. Gromit? Who's Gromit? That's Wallace. Yeah. <laughs> I got a bit mixed up then, didn't I? Wallace has is a massive hole in his back. You could tell these are from the close, a close shave because he's got three balls of wool, which is like when he met that lady. Was it Wendelin? I don't know. I can't remember. I think it was Wendelin. And they dropped the wool and he's bending down to pick it up. And in his back, he's got one little hole because he's full of salt. Do you know what it kind of looks like? What? He was shot in the back and I was just slumped over. Okay. Um, <laughs> seriously, I don't know what you had for <laughs> breakfast this morning. But, don't ask but, questions. Uh, I sometimes wonder how I put up with you. I really do. I'm a song person. Right. And also, I saw it all together with this. Because Sean came in the close shave first. What you mean is, Sean the Sheep's first appearance was in a close shave. Yes. Right. And so, that was from and then the close shave. And then he got his own spin-off show, which we all like watching. So, now then Brett, show me your last thing. The last item is two loose games. No, don't be silly. Four loose games. Or eight loose games. You're nuts. There's actually about, I think there's around about 11 discs in here. Now, There's eight games visible. Just like the trading cards, where they couldn't sell them the way they did it, they put these into a into a bag, and they couldn't sell them like they were. So they asked me if I'd take them off their hands. I didn't pay very much for them. It's like pennies I paid for them. And the reason is, if you look here, this one's a demo disc for Race Driver Grid. And then you've got Call of Raw, uh, Call of Duty, sorry, World of at War. Then you've got Winter Sports on the Wii, Mortal Kombat on the Xbox 360. Most of these are actually on the Monopoly, Xbox. Monopoly, Halo 3, and Halo 4. Now, I haven't been through these yet. And relax. And there's a chance that say Halo 4 needs more than one disc, the other disc might not be in here. So they can't really sell them like that. I gave them a bit of money for them, not too much, because it all goes to charity. I might be able to use some of these games because they might be alright. Some of them might be a problem if they need more than one disc, but never mind. There is one thing about this. I actually thought it was only Xbox 360 games because I looked at it like that. I didn't know there was that one Wii game. No, I just mentioned it when I was going through them. Yeah, but it? when I first looked at it, right, the next you know, item, when it was in the pile somewhere over here. I got three similar items now. The first one is an RC helicopter. Is this RC helicopter? He does work. He's been used before. I tried him out. He does fly. Uh, he's not bad. I didn't pay much for him, so he's all right. The and next might, one, though, we might see something interesting in a minute okay. after this. The next one is another RC okay. helicopter, but this one has never been out of its box. Uh, he's all sealed up. The helicopter's still like, tied down to the box where it was. It's in good condition. I might try it out at some point. It's probably one of those things where somebody bought one, thought it'd be a good idea, and then never bothered trying it out. There's a lot of people that have done stuff like that. I've done stuff like that in the past. Because maybe I've... what happened was somebody bought one, flew it, got stuck somewhere, and they thought, you know, I don't want to risk that one. I'm going to sell it. He's only saying that because I got... I had two... Uh, radio controlled airplanes that were like polystyrene and a radio controlled helicopter the heli the airplanes though because they're so like one got stuck in a tree and the other one got took by the air and ended up on somebody's we roof three and two of them went on the roof yeah but still two went on the roof well no one went on the roof one went in a tree and then the helicopter the big one hit Brett I never forgived him. <laughs> right, this one is like a little UFO. And here's your entertaining part. I'm standing back. And this, uh, the remote for this is kind of strange because with the helicopters, 
they have up, down, left, right, and then a bit for stabilization. Whereas this only has an on off button at the top to turn the lights off on here. So you turn that on and off. And then you've only got this slide remote that makes the rotors go. And then of course you've got this, which is for charging it up. Now I have tried this, and the problem is, every now and then it would go up and then tilt and then fly somewhere in the wrong direction. Aiming for him. And it did hit me in the nuts one time. So, I'll give it a quick go. I don't think this is going to end too well. Brett's hiding. So... <laughs> well, that was actually the best it's ever done. <laughs> Trouble is, it ran out of room to fly in. That was actually the highest you've got it up. Don't you dare when I'm there. Oh, no, no, no. Oh. <laughs> there you go, that's what I mean by tilting. The camera lady doesn't look too happy now though. So It's kind of like a homing missile. <laughs> it is after people. Yeah, it aimed at me about ten <laughs> times when I was trying it out before. Yeah, it's like, oh. But yeah, I'm not going to do it again. Okay. So that's all our items. Wait, just one thing before what? you finish. The best <laughs> part is, when it... It sort of is like a home whistle because it goes up and then aims for you and only you. Well, except for that time, aim for your mum. Yeah, but when you test it out the first time. Yeah. Right, so that's all our items. We hope you've enjoyed this video. We've got some things coming up soon of uh, rare pickups that we've picked, got from charity shops. We've got some stuff that I've bought from auctions. We're going to be playing board games, video games and all sorts of things. So check back on our channel. We never know what we're going to be doing. Uh, you might find something you really like. If you would, consider like, subscribing and sharing this video. But for now, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.